didn't have any football at Rhodes Stadium this week, but Phoenix fans sure did have plenty to be excited about. The men's soccer team hosted the 6th ranked Charlotte 49ers at Rudd Stadium and pulled off one of the biggest upsets in program history. Early on in the 13th minute, Matt Wesco finds Chris Thomas who slips behind the defense and nets the first goal for the Phoenix. The goal was Thomas' ninth in only seven games. That's some good production, folks. But if some is good, then more is better. Wesco is going to feed the senior striker again for Thomas' SOCON leading 10th goal of the year. The goal put Elon up by two, and that would be enough to seal the win. The defense held strong the rest of the way, capping a huge upset for the Phoenix. The women's soccer team played its second conference game of the season yesterday against Ab State. The Phoenix struck early in Sunday's tilt. Here in the eighth minute, the first attempt ricochets off the crossbar, but lands right at the foot of Rachel Diver, who puts it away for the first goal of the game. But the Mountaineers would equalize quickly in the 28th minute with Samantha Childress's 20-yard shot. The two teams battle hard all day, playing tough defense to keep the score at one apiece through 90 minutes. Just six minutes into overtime, though, Childress would find the back of the net once again for the game winner, handing Elon their second loss in as many conference games. For many athletes, the end of their college careers marks the end of their time in competitive athletics. But for one baseball player, his career is just getting started. The memories here, you know, they're, you know, I, I wouldn't trade them for anything. So, the past three years have been awesome. Jimmy Stokes pitched for the Phoenix for those three years, but all that changed June 6 when he was drafted in the 22nd round by the Cleveland Indians. But making it to the pros came with its share of trials as Stokes tore a ligament his sophomore year. Coming back from Tommy John surgery, I, so that's, that was the biggest part that I really just struggled at. And, you know, still got to kind of find where I was before surgery. But if I can, yeah, if I can command, you know, three different pitches, uh, I think I could have a lot of success. Someone who has contributed to his success is former Phoenix teammate Jimmy Reyes, who plays for one of the Texas Rangers minor league teams. They continue to train during the offseason. He'll be my workout partner, which is awesome because I can, you know, there's so much, so many things I ask him about because he's a couple levels higher than me. Although Stokes has made the pros, he acknowledges the stepping stones of his past. As a kid, you know, my goal is, you know, I want to make like my middle school team, then one, two, I want to make the high school team. Once I was in high school, I want to play, I want to play college baseball now. Like, made it to a D1 school, saw the guys here, I want to play professional ball now. Behind me is the mound that Stokes spent his last three years on here at Elon. Now in the Cleveland Indians organization, he toes the mound on a much bigger stage. Knowing your professional baseball player that you made it that far, is, it's awesome because, you know, not a whole lot of people can say that about their, themselves. And, yeah, I just want to enjoy every every minute of it while I'm, while I'm out there, you know, playing and everything, and don't take anything for granted. Jimmy Stevenson, Elon Local News. The men's tennis team hosted the Elon Fall Invitational over the weekend, with a couple Elon players finishing on top. The Jimmy Powell Center was busy all weekend with athletes from around the country. Two of the busiest were Elon players Stefan Fortman and Carlos Arboleda, who both won individual titles in their respective draws. Elon will next play on October 12th, in the Wake Forest Invitational. The women's volleyball team kicked off its conference schedule this week with two home games at Alumni Gym, first taking on UNCG on Thursday and then College of Charleston on Saturday. The ladies got off to a slow start, dropping the first two sets to the Spartans, who were on the verge of sweeping Elon three to nothing. But the team fought hard and worked the match back to two sets apiece, forcing a fifth and final set. The end of the match was a nail-biter, but UNCG ended the game on a 6-0 run to take the set and the win away from the Phoenix. On Saturday, the girls were back at it against College of Charleston, but unfortunately, the results weren't any better. The Cougars looked good and were too much for Elon to handle. They lost in stri three straight sets, falling to 7-10 overall in the season and moving to 0-2 in conference play.